Hi, guys, and welcome to the Financial Modeling Tips by the Startup Station. Okay, so today we're going to discuss how to model a digital marketing strategy. What we're trying to determine is the expected number of customers from our digital marketing strategy. And this is what we need to create, right? We need to set the marketing budget and we need to allocate it. We want to think through if we're building a five-year forecast, how to do it years one through five. And we also want to consider seasonality, right? So we want to determine our annual budget and we want to see how this budget is going to be split throughout the year. And finally, we want to think about the customer acquisition cost for that strategy, again, years one through five. So how are we going to do it if we're an early stage startup? The um, first assumption is your discretionary assumption, yeah, right? And then you're going to set it based on your capital constraints, as well as based on the sales goals that you want to achieve. The customer acquisition cost is always a tricky one. So if you have some data in terms of the customer traction that you're getting, you can use that data. Otherwise, do some research, take an industry norm. Typically, those costs are per channel as opposed to per industry, though sometimes it's not the case. So, so just do the cost for what it is for your competition and use that as an initial goal for what it should be for you until you get some market data. So here we're going to see how we're going to model this. We see all the assumptions in blue. The digital marketing user acquisition cost is $20. The digital marketing budget for the first year is 1 million. Here we have the seasonal allocation, more in those months where we expect more traffic. The digital marketing budget per month is calculated as the annual budget times the allocation for that month. The number of new customers is calculated as uh, the digital market, uh, marketing budget for that month divided by the acquisition cost. We are rounding it down using the floor function to be more conservative and because we can have partial people. Uh, also notice that I took it um, all the way down to revenues where I assumed a certain purchase amount, uh, which can be the same every month, which can vary. This is completely up to you. The revenue would be the number of new customers times the amount of money they spend. And you notice here that for the first year, the uh, revenue is only 1.225 million right, on a 1 million marketing budget without including any cost. And this is bad, right, because um, this means that this is not an attractive value proposition. You either need to get to the point where your acquisition cost is lower or you need to get to the point where they can spend more money uh, every time they purchase something. As it stands right now, this business will not be profitable because once you add other costs in, you will get to a negative profitability. And so here we are. We know now how to model digital marketing strategy. Please sign up for my YouTube channel and watch my masterclass, Build Credible Financials for Your Early Stage Venture, to learn our framework for how to model any software service or product startup. And we will be back next week with more financial modeling tips from the Startup Station. Bye.